Good morning, church, and welcome to your daily spark. You know, I heard one children's talk that went like this when some kids had got up and, and shared some of the uh, results they got in school and that sort of stuff. The pastor said this, children, you are going to die. You may not think it, that you're going to die, but you are going to die. One of these days, they're going to take you out to a cemetery, dig a hole and drop you in it. Throw some dirt on your face, then go back to the church and eat potato salad. When you were born, you were alone, you were crying and everyone else was happy. The important question I want to ask you is this, when you die, are you going to die alone? Are you going to be alone again, leaving everyone else crying? The answer depends on whether you live to get titles or whether you live to get testimonies. When, when you lay down in the grave, are people going to stand around reciting fancy titles that you've earned or the different things you've done? Or are they going to stand around giving testimonies of the good things that were in your life and that you've done for them? Will they list your degrees and awards or will they tell about the times that you were a blessing to them? Will you leave behind just a newspaper column telling people how important you were and under the birth, deaths and, and that sort of stuff? Or will you leave crying people giving testimony as to how they've, been, they've lost the best friend they've ever had in you? So there's nothing wrong with titles. Titles are good. But if it ever comes down to a choice between a title and a testimony, go for the testimony. Because impacting people's lives is more important than getting titles and degrees and that sort of stuff. And the best way to impact someone's life is to have Jesus Christ at the center of your life. If you come to him, if you give your life to him, and if you live in obedience to his word, then you will have an impact on people around you. I would like to live a life that was such a blessing that when I die, even the undertaker's upset. That's the sort of life we want to live. And we can only live it through the power and the victory of Jesus Christ in our life. So as you go forth today, look for opportunities to bless people. Be obedient to him, stay in touch with him, and look for a moment when you can bless people around you. God bless you. Go forth and be a blessing today. And we'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.